Howdy, welcome back. Uh, so today's video will be jumping into work on the bottom skins. You'll see here, uh, I think this is the left wing, but anyways, left wing and right wing are in the cradle, uh, but both bottom inboard skins are complete. So we're gonna jump on into that and we'll finish up with a wrap up at the end. Enjoy. skins be going downward I can see the skin overhangs just a little bit too much over the edge uh, I hope I can get to focus on this side here come on focus for me so I'm gonna go ahead and put masking tape all the way down along the line all the way across just to protect my uh, warm filing and I'll go ahead and file going for the skins
comes to these rivets that are around the uh, flat hinge brackets here, they're very hard to get to. The other one I really, really struggled getting to. Um, but I would say what's made this easier to get to this, um, I saw online someone mentioned taking the spring off. So what was happening with the spring is it was kind of pushing it away. The spring sat a little bit proud outside here of the uh, of this rivet set. So what that was doing is it was preventing you from getting directly in line because you are, that rivet spacing is probably about a quarter inch off here. So it's really, really hard to get in there. So summed up, take the spring off, uh, turn my pressure down a little bit, and then just kind of carefully without the spring, of course, it's still able to function, uh, but you have to be a little more careful. Um, but being careful with the spring off of here, um, you are able to get in there and get those rivets set. Because uh, again, with the spring on there, it sits a little bit proud, then you're trying to angle the thing. The other one over there, not sure if you can see on camera or not, uh, but I did ding it on this bottom one. Uh, I kind of kissed the side of it, got a little ding, uh, but you're not gonna see it's the bottom of the wing. I'm not worried. That's a quick little, quick little tip, trick tip, is uh, take that spring off when getting around the uh, flat brackets here. reason why I did that um, and went one past the J stepper here um, is a couple of other builder videos I've noticed uh, people complain about the uh, this bottom section these bottom rivets here uh, that sit underneath that J stepper they're harder to get to when that J stepper is hanging over as you'll see here hopefully it's in frame uh, but that J stepper kind of blocks access uh, to those bottom rivets there so I uh, watched uh, bald man Ryan's videos um, and saw in his, he jumped ahead, did these, tacked them in, it didn't cause issues with his. So that's why I went ahead and jumped past it. So now I'll load that J stiffener uh, through here and then I can come back through and get access to them uh, like normal. for the uh, inboard bottom skin. <laughs> Take a long time. It's hard, I'm having to do this during uh, nap time or towards the later end of nap time because I don't want to mess up the nap. So you'll see here, baby sleeping still. So definitely not too loud, but I've been trying to time this towards the end of a nap just in case he wakes up. Take a little while, done with the right bottom inboard wing skin. Oh. incredibly tight. Uh, reason being these flanges for these ribs each kick out in certain directions based on where they're placed. Uh, so good example of this one here, it's an L shape like that, L shape like that, L shape like that. Um, then this flange here faces this way. Uh, so you don't have you don't have that space where the flange flange lays uh, to, to lay your arm or to get uh, at least an inch tighter uh, than, than these outer ones. So that's a doozy. So this boroscope here is pretty handy uh, just for checking after the fact. It's hard to get a rivet gauge in there. Uh, I am going to give that middle one there a little more of a, another kiss. Um, but that one looks good and that one over there looks good. So I'll tap in one more time. Going over one more bay to the side. And what I just did, yeah, it's hard to get in here. Uh, you'll see I am happy, happy and happy. That little bit of black dot on that rivet you'll see there, uh, that's just part of the uh, the tape left over on my bucking bar. I must have barely kissed the side of it with the tape, 
Uh, but that's what that black residue is. But I'm pleased. Keep moving. As you probably saw there, the wing skins went on pretty easily. <laughs> there were definitely some tricky spots. Um, I know other people have reached out to me asking what my plans are, asking if um, I already know what wiring I'm gonna be doing or anything there. The answer is no. Um, that's why I feel like I'm safe getting to this portion here of having the just the inboard skin riveted on. The outboard skins, they're dimpled, they're ready to go, but I'm leaving them off until we have pedo figured out, autopilot figured out, um, any other VOR antenna. And I just wanna make sure I figure, figure out everything, get that all wired in, and then I'll go ahead and put the outboard skins on. Uh, but for now, my basic understanding of how I'm doing these for now is I have this general corrugated tube here, bushings there on the other side. That is for the VOR antenna, if we choose to do that. So you'll see, I think it has a, I think it's a quarter inch internal diameter. I ended up buying, um, buying a short piece of um, RG 400, 200, not sure what type, but anyways, I ended up buying a short length of antenna wire for that coax wire, um, just to make sure it'll fit, but that does run all the way through. So I don't have to worry about those going forward. So as far as pedo and AOA goes, um, running those, splitting the rib there, one in each corner, going all the way down the line here. And then I saw in someone else's video, they ended up sending both of them up in the corner. So you'll see here, probably hard to see on camera, but there are two, there's one there and one there. The idea here is I can snake those together, kind of take them from here. They'll go up around uh, this bell crank, uh, up and around to where I can get into this next bay. So it should snake it up nicely. And I also did still um, drill this other hole here, just in case I wanted to use those, but now, anywho, my plan is to snake them up and around the top portion there and down to right here. Um, so other than that, going to the other wing. So for the right wing, my basic plan right now, again, this corrugated tubing. Um, outside of that, I did throw in an extra one. Um, so added in there, um, just in case I outgrow this here, I'll have access to it there. And that goes all the way down the length of it underneath that skin there. Other than that, I added similar to uh, the other wing with the pedal line. Uh, I went through and actually added bushings here at the bottom, leading all the way up to uh, this bell crank dealio here thing. And the idea here is I think I can run autopilot down here at the bottom. It'll stay nice and out of the way, nice and tucked out of the way, and then either click bond fasten or something uh, to keep this clean and tidy down at the bottom. Um, so I think I, I think I should have enough lines out to the wing tip. Um, I think this should be enough. If not, I could always add them later because actually I was able to, even while the ribs were in here, I didn't have these in there just yet, these bushings for, uh, for my plan for the autopilot. Um, anyways, those were not in there, but I was able to actually get a, a step bit on a right angle drill attachment and still get in there as a pain, but drill into each of these ribs. It's a pain, but you can do it. So I don't have worries about growing this. Uh, worst case scenario, I can always add to it It'd be a little bit of a pain to get to it while that bottom skin, inboard skin's on, but probably figure it out and get that done. So I'll know more as I get closer to finalizing and closing this all out. But for now, this is how these will live. They'll go back into storage in the house here and they'll stay in this shape. And again, the long outboard skins are already dimpled, already prepped, ready to go. Yeah, so happy with how these inboard bottom wing skins turned out. Uh, so if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feedback, or whatever, or you just wanna say hi, say hi down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Adios.